Welcome to my workplace at Ranaghat, West Bengal, India. Let us observe this minimally edited surgery. This is a cataract with grade 2 nuclear sclerosis. The anterior chamber is shallow and the pupil has not dilated well. The size of the pupil at this time is about 3.5 millimeter. The main incision has been done. This is a side port on the left side of the main incision. The patient is under topical anesthesia and the patient is not much cooperative. Side port has been done and now this is a bit of phenocaine which contains lignocaine, tropicamide and phenylephrine. I am planning to stain the anterior capsule with tripan blue dye. Here it goes. I always stain the anterior capsule underneath an air bubble. Uh, the staining is quicker and nice in a short time if we use an air bubble and I always wash the excess dye out of the anterior chamber. This reduces TAS, tox toxic anterior segment syndrome. If we wash the dye out initially, mm, this is my thinking. Now the anterior chamber has been uh, underfilled and some visco has been placed under the iris and I am touching the iris to constrict the people a bit so that I can easily engage the flanges of the behex. And now this air bubble is disturbing and uh, vis visibility is poor. Nowadays I find that if I tuck the flange which is at 11 o'clock which is near the left side board. Uh, if you are a right handed person and then if we tuck this flange first it becomes easier and if we tuck the flange which, it, which is at 5 o'clock which is directly opposite the main wound uh, it still we can do it but I think it is easier if we tuck the flange on the left side first and then the flange which is directly opposite the main wound and then visco and take the uh, behex forceps and finally tuck the flange which is on the right side of the main wound. And the people takes beautiful hexagonal shape. Let's go again and now the time for capsular access. Using a uterator forceps to do capsular access, the tip of the uterator pierces the center of the capsule. A capsular tag is raised. This capsular tag is guided all around. This is the tag. The tag is guided all around cannot be very slow in moving the stack. A small jerky pulls controls its path better. Now hydrodissection is done. The patient is under topical anesthesia. Patient was initially not much cooperative but now the patient is cooperating well. And now is the time for pre-chopping the nucleus. If the nucleus is soft, grade 2 or grade 2 plus, I usually pre-chop the nucleus nowadays and management becomes very easy. So I have divided the nucleus into two heminuclei. The anterior chamber is shallow, so I come out, inject visco. Take a small hook, rotate the nucleus, orient it in such a way that I can pre-chop on heminucleus. Here it goes and this heminucleus is pre-chopped. 
And now management of this nucleus is very easy. And pre-chopping is just uh, a matter of doing some cases, not a long learning curve. If you do just five, six cases, you are done. And now we just have to go and pick up the pieces and emulsify. So one piece has been emulsified, then we rotate, get the other piece, emulsify this piece. Ultrasonic energy being used is about uh, 50 percent, flow rate is 45 ml per minute, vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. And this small hemineucleus, this is divided into two and it is emulsified. And now watch cleaning of cortex by the hand piece itself. It, is, it has got a learning curve and it is not recommended for the beginner surgeons. You have to know how to, you know, if you are a very experienced surgeon, you can dare to do it. And now is the time to implant the intraocular lens. This is a hydrophobic acrylic single piece enhanced monofocal lens. And this is, this goes, the lens goes in the capsular bag. And now, some more visco. Now is the time to remove the behex. Just hold on flange which is above the iris, pull it centrally and then go peripherally and all the flanges uh, come out and it is in the anterior chamber and then I gently pull it out. And now is the time to clean the you know, visco that has been used. This is the This is a 23G Simcoe. I am just irrigating and aspirating the anterior chamber. I go behind the lens, irrigate and aspirate for a few seconds. By this time, the bimanual irrigation aspiration cannuli are getting ready. I always keep the Simcoe cannula ready with a separate drip set and separate bottle. So, the my assistant gets time to uh, now detach the tubings and attach it to cannoli. The irrigation goes behind the lens, irrigates, aspiration is above the lens, irrigating and aspirating for some time. Now I am holding the pupillary margin and pulling it posteriorly and centrally because this patient has you know angle closure uh, component. The anterior chamber was very shallow and there is some changes in the optic nerve head. This is closure of the side port. And finally, the antechamber is nicely formed, integrity of the wounds are checked, few drops of moxie is applied over the ocular surface and the case is concluded. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will encourage you to use BHEX in small peoples. It will encourage you to use pre-chopper. It will encourage you to learn new techniques. 
be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, empathy and great surgical competence.